Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you set Saint Rose of Lima on fire with your love, so that secluded from the world in the austerity of all, of life, of penance, she might give herself to you alone. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession we may tread the paths of life on earth and drink at the stream of your delights in heaven. So, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians in God the Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace. 
We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love, and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters, loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. You know what sort of people we were among you for your sake. In every place, your faith in God has gone forth so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exalt in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You lock the kingdom of heaven before men. You do not enter yourselves nor do you allow entrance to those trying to enter. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You traverse sea and land to make one convert, and when that happens, you make him a child of Gehenna, twice as much as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, If one swears by the temple, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gold of the temple, one is obligated. Blind fools, which is greater, the gold or the temple that made the gold sacred? And you say, if one swears by the altar, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gift on the altar, one is obligated. You blind ones, which is greater, the gift? or the altar that makes the gift sacred. One who swears by the altars swears by it and all that is upon it. One who swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. And one who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who is seated on it. May their brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. 
man has his occasional illness. Sometimes it could be bodily and at times spiritual illness. If we have bodily illness, more often than not, we go to a doctor and the doctor would prescribe us some medicine no? and tells us that we should avoid certain um, habits or certain food. No? For example, kapag ikaw ay may sakit sa baga, your doctor will ask you to stop smoking, to stop smoking because it is good for you, no? because it is good for you. No? Kahit pa raging, chain smoker ang doktor. No? Susundan natin ang sinabi ng doktor dahil ito ay mabuti para sa atin. However, if we have spiritual illness, no? more often, we go to a priest no? or a nun no? or a spiritual guru or a mentor. No? And they will describe or prescribe us certain behavioral change, no? certain character modification, specifically by way we do our morality. For example, pag sinabi ng pare na huwag magnakaw, no? pag sinabi ng pare na magpatawad, no? pag sinabi ng pare na huwag magsinungaling, no? we would listen. However, it will be a lot of parang dismay para sa makikinig kapag ang pinapakinggan natin na nagbibigay sa atin ng advice ay napakasinungaling din naman. Pero sinasabihan tayong wag magsinungaling. Sabihin na wag magnakaw pero napaka-corrupt din naman. mag advice na maging mahinahon pero pasigaw naman ng madalas. Why am I telling you this, my dear brothers and sisters? In our gospel reading today, Jesus speaks of guides, speaks of those personalities that we encounter in our lives wherein we confer certain parang regard because we believe that they are masters that can guide us, no? that can help us have a um, better means how we go about our lives. And in our gospel reading, Jesus was somehow mad at the scribes and the Pharisees. Because it appears that parang after their, their um, advice to the people, it appears na parang hindi naman nakikita sa kanilang buhay ang kanilang pinapagawa sa tao. Nagpe-prescribe sila ng kung ano-anong mga commandments. However, it doesn't help these people to somehow help them in their journey towards heaven. That's why Jesus was very mad and described them to be what? Hypocrites. Describe them to be what? Mga walang kwentang tao. And I guess we are somehow invited to check also no, ourselves because we affect each other. How we influence each other. Kagaya ng sinabi ko sa inyo kanina with regards to how one goes to a doctor tapos magsabi na wag manigarilyo, no? pero kahit raging smoker yung doktor, no? we would believe because it does not involve what? Moral probity. Moral ascendancy. Hindi kailangan ng good example ng doktor medical doctor pag siya ang magpe-prescribe. But when it comes to spiritual sickness, when it comes to morality, 
kailangan mo nang makita na ginagawa ito bago ito alin sabihin sa iba na ito nga dapat ang kailangan nating gawin this is what we call practice what we are preaching Dahil alam natin na kailangan natin ng ehemplo sa buhay. And this is a challenge for all of us, my dear brothers and sisters, especially for the parents, especially for those who are in power, especially to those who we look up to. We need good example. Kaya nga ang hamon ni Jesus sa atin ngayon, why he describes these Pharisees, Pharisees and scribes as hypocrites. No? What do we mean by hypocrites? Mga actors, no? mga plastic, mga fake. To be really authentic. No? To somehow check no? kung ang sinasabi ba natin ay nakikita sa ating gawa. Let me end my homily with you with this simple sharing of a priest wherein he was asked by a parent, no? Ang sabi sa kanya, Father, pwede niyo bang kausapin ang aking anak? No? Dahil hirap na hirap na ho kaming somehow pasun din siya dahil ang tigas-tigas na ng ulo niya. And so the father considered, no? the priest considered, sige, sige, no? you ask him to come to my office and um, I will try to talk to him. No? And so, no? nagpunta yung bata sa office, hindi masaya, no? dahil parang pinag-guidance kay father. No? May eyeliner na itim, no? nakaitim, no? tapos may mga tawag ito, um, nail polish na itim. Tapos, nagsabi ang pare, Iha, she was a girl, no? ano bang paipaglilingkod ko sa'yo? No? Sabi ng parents mo, eh, nahirapan ka daw, no? na sumunod. No? Tumingin ang bata sa pare, at sinabi, kasi naman, father, Si Daddy nagsasabi, wag daw akong manigarilyo. Pero siya, grabe magsigarilyo. Si Daddy ang sabi, bawal daw inom, mag-uminom. Pero, ang dami-dami niyang collection na alcohol. Si Mami nagsasabi, wag daw akong magsiswear. Pero siya, grabe magswear kapag nasa worker namin. Father, silang lahat fake. Hindi sila totoo. Pati kayo, Father, fake. No? Pati si Father na damay. Hopefully, my dear brothers and sisters, today, the gospel challenges us to be authentic teachers. And by being authentic, what we are preaching must first be seen in our lives. Amen. Conscious of our unworthiness, we raise our minds and hearts to God the Father and bring our needs before Him. In every prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, especially its leaders, may take to heart the task of renewal and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials, may show sincere concern 
for justice, dignity, and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That media personnel may lead the people to the truth and promote the gospel values. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may find hope, healing, strength, and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Lord may reward the faithful departed with eternal happiness for their faithful service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God our Father, help us to love and serve you in spirit and truth through Jesus who is our way. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Rose of Lima, we humbly implore your Majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our truth and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the world, in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of, of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the truthful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Rose of Lima, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, mercy Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my, and my soul, soul shall, be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed by heavenly bread, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that we who rejoice in commemorating Blessed Rose of Lima may obtain pardon for our offenses, health for our bodies, and grace and eternal glory for our souls. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Until the end to your mission, Lord.